Hi guys, it's Valerie here. Thanks for joining me for this video lesson. Now, I hope you're all doing fine today and you're ready to look at some pattern repeat in wallpaper. In the last lesson, we looked at how to calculate how much wallpaper you will need to finish a given space. In this lesson, we are looking at identifying pattern repeat in your wallpaper and how to measure your pattern repeat so that you include that measurement in your calculation because if your wallpaper in a given space and you do not consider your pattern repeat then you won't be able to match up your patterns so let's get at it I have two wallpapers here that we'll be looking at the pattern repeat and how to measure them. So just like fabric, wallpaper can either have an all over pattern or it can have a pattern repeat. Now, if you look at this wallpaper, it has very small motifs. So it would look like it doesn't have a pattern repeat, but absolutely it does have a pattern repeat. If you look closely, you can see where the one flower is here and the same flower repeat itself here and here and here and here and so on. Now, a small motif like this, maybe you could get away without do matching up the patterns. But if you are a very detailed, picky person like I am, then maybe you will want to match up your patterns to get a precise job done. So then in that regard, you will have to calculate your pattern repeat. And the rule of thumb is when you're calculating your pattern repeat, you should start from the middle of the one pattern and measure to the middle of the other pattern. However, for myself, I feel more comfortable measuring from the start of the one pattern to the end of the other pattern because I want to make sure 100% that I have enough wallpaper or I have enough fabric. So I would suggest that you do the same. So you would measure from the top of the one pattern here all the way down to the bottom of the other pattern which is five inches. So your pattern repeat here would be five inches inches now let's look at another wallpaper let's look at the pattern repeat here now your pattern repeat here is more distinct so you would not get away um, with this type of wallpaper using it as an all over pattern you would see the mismatch so you have to make sure you calculate your pattern repeat and you can see pattern repeat throughout this paper here. You can see where the one butterfly is right here and the same butterfly repeats itself down here. Also over here, you can see where the one flower is with the leaf going up like that and it repeats itself down here with the leaf going up like that. So that's your pattern repeat. Over here, you have this butterfly, the same butterfly. So the way to know that your pattern is repeating itself is when you see the same motif recurring in another place. Some pattern repeats have a way longer gap than other pattern repeats, but you have to make sure to look for that because you could just look at this wallpaper and maybe think, no, it doesn't have a pattern repeat, but yes, it does. There is just a huge gap between the two same patterns. Over here is the same thing. So what do we do to find our pattern repeat here? We use our measuring device whether it's a yardstick like I have here or a measuring tape the metal tape or just a fabric tape so you measure from the top of the one pattern here 
to the bottom of the other pattern here and that would give you 22 inches your pattern repeat here is 22 inches now let's do the flower and see if we get the same 22 inches so we put it at the top of the flower here and at the bottom of the flower here 22 inches so our pattern repeat here is 22 inches and again we will have to take that into account when we do our calculations for our required number of um, rolls of wallpaper that we need to do a given space never forget to do your pattern repeat when you're buying your wallpaper in the next lesson I will show you how to consider your pattern repeat when you are calculating how much wallpaper you need. You can check out the lesson I did previously that shows you how to calculate your wallpaper for your given space. So guys, if you have learned anything from this lesson, please subscribe and share also do check out the channel because there's a lot there for you to learn from and don't forget to like and leave a comment below because that helps the channel to grow i'll see you in the next video